I had the gift of growing up in the small town of St. Helena in the heart of the Napa Valley. Back in the 50s and 60s, when it was more of a Norman Rockwell photo than it is now. And many people ask me now, because I've lived here my whole life, what makes the Napa Valley so special? The one thing, the thing that made me fall in love with the Napa Valley when I was young and still has made me stay here my whole life is that from Mount St. Helena to the south in the valley, the two mountain ranges that create the Napa Valley are like two big, beautiful arms stretching out to wrap themselves around one of the most gorgeous grape growing regions in the world. When I have the opportunity to walk the vineyards with Tony, whether it's in the spring and the young growth is just blooming, uh, to see his eyes shine when he's showing the canes and the little baby berries that are just forming, and then flash forward three to four months to October when it's harvest time, walking that same vineyard together and seeing the growth and maturity of those berries. Tony is so excited and so passionate about the development of those berries. He can see the ultimate wine in looking at a bunch of grapes. Oberon is very special to me. It has given me an opportunity to use all of my experience, all of my passion for winemaking, to craft a wine with relationships, with growers, with, with all the sentiment that I have for winemaking that many, many people can enjoy and that people can share around their table, that they can share for special occasions, and in that, create their own stories with Oberon. I think that it's that passion of the people, everyone who touches the grapes, and yeah, the soil, the climate, the grape varieties, but also, I think that if the grapes are the heart of a wine, then the people are its soul. Mm -hmm.